Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm here today to bring you the gift that is the Leviathan series by Scott Westerfeld. Please do not doubt me when I say that this book is awesome. I hate that I even have to use the word awesome to describe it because it's not going to live up to it. Enough meandering, let's get into what the story is really about. This steampunk alt history follows Prince Alexander, the last known survivor of the Austro-Hungarian monarchy. By all rights, the kingdom should be his. He's got a little problem, however. He's a bastard. His mother and father weren't married, and therefore his ascension is not sanctioned by the Pope. That doesn't, however, mean that there is no risk to his life. Both the anti-monarchist sympathizers and the opposition desperately want him dead. He must use the last of his father's men in a battle-worn Stormwalker, which I have pictured just like an at, -AT from Star Wars, and try and find safe refuge or somewhere he can hole up for the rest of the war. This book and series also follows the amazing Darren Sharp. Darren Sharp has always wanted to be a soldier. Darren's father was a soldier, Darren's brother is a soldier. All that Darren ever wanted is to serve her king and country. But see, Darren has a little problem. She's a she. And even in this alternate history retelling, women weren't permitted to join the armed forces. She, however, does not let that stop her. So she cross-dresses and joins the British forces in the war. Another amazing thing about this whole series is once or twice a chapter, there are these full page illustrations. I found that it really added something to the story to be able to see what was going on, especially as some of it is this really complicated machinery or these completely fantastical beasts that are hard for even someone with a highly active imagination to picture. This series includes Leviathan, Behemoth, and Goliath and follows Prince Alexander and Dylan Sharp's journey throughout the entire war. I think that this is fantastic for middle grades. I mean, they're a bit long and dense for your average seventh or eighth grader, but I would still say check them out and see if you like them. Another thing is they're still enjoyable, like many things at any age, even for the older in body and young at heart. So far, I have not met a Scott Westerfeld book that I didn't like, and these are no exception. The first two got a four out of five, and the last one got a five out of five. Perfect ending, I felt very satisfied, and I'm so in love with this series. If you like steampunk and adventure, there's really no reason you haven't picked these up. Thanks so much for watching. My name's Ashley. I make videos every day. Thanks. Moving like the speed of sound. Vegan.